Welcome to the fourth of 13 SPSS video tutorials accompanying the first edition of the text, Introduction to Statistics for Social Sciences. In this tutorial, we will be using IBM SPSS Statistics version 19. Keep in mind that if you're running a different version, there may be some slight differences between them. However, in most cases, the differences are usually quite minimal. In this tutorial, we will cover how to recode variables within SPSS. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need the file Chapter 4 Video Tutorial Data. .sav. This dataset consists of the four variables age, income, gender, and driving. Researchers are often faced with the situation where they need to recode a variable within their data. To demonstrate this, we will recode the variable driving. Now suppose this variable represents a respondent's opinion regarding the legal driving age. In this scenario, 30 respondents were provided with the statement, the driving age should be raised to 18. Respondents were then asked to indicate their level of agreement with the statement using the five-point Likert scale anchored at strongly agree, which was coded as 1, and strongly disagree, which was coded as 5. The way the data is currently coded means that low scores indicate high agreement, and high scores indicate low agreement. This might become confusing when you are analyzing the data, as generally it's easier to work with the situation where low scores equal low agreement and high scores equal high agreement. So in this case, what we need to do is recode the data such that a score of 5 becomes a score of 1, a score of 4 becomes a score of 2, and so on. Now to recode a variable, we first select the Transform option from the drop-down menu. We have two options for recoding. The first one that we will discuss involves recoding into a different variable. When we recode a variable into a different variable, all we are doing is creating a new variable with the recoded values. Recoding this way is often preferred as the original variable remains unchanged. Once the Recode into Different Variables window is open, we select the variable that we want to recode and move it into the Input Variable Output Variable box. Once this is done, the Output Variable area and the old New Values button is enabled. We enter the name of our new variable and, although not required, we'll enter a label so that we'll remember that this is the original driving variable with the reversed coding. Once we are done naming the variable, we press the Change button to set the name, and then the Old and New Values button to bring up the Old and New Values window. This window consists of two areas. We use the left side of the window to state the values from the original variable that we want to recode, and the right side of the window to tell SPSS what the new value should be. Since the new variable requires the values of the original driving variable to be reversed, we'll start by entering 5 as the old value, and a 1 as the new value, and then press the Add button. We can now see that any responses of 5 in the original variable will be recoded as 1 in the new variable. Next we enter the old value of 4, and the new value of 2. Since the value of 3 means the same thing for both the original and new variable, we will enter 3 in both the old and new values field. We then repeat this process to recode 2 to 4 and 1 to 5. Before you press continue, it is a good idea to double check that all of the original values have the correct new values assigned. When we are done, we press continue and then OK. Our new variable, called drive underscore REV, has been created and placed in the rightmost column of our dataset. When we recode a variable into a new variable, the program defaults, such as two decimal places, are applied to the new variable. 
so we may wish to make changes to those by selecting the Variable View tab. For this example, we will reduce the number of decimal places to zero and assign value labels to each of our codes. Switching back to the data view, we can see that our new variable is now set up to our preference. The other way to recode a variable is to convert the values in the original variable. To do this, we select Transform and then Recode into same variable. The process is pretty much the same as the previous method. First, you select the variable to be recoded. Then you press the Old and New Values button to bring up the Old and New Values window. You define both the Old and New Values Press Continue and then press OK. Finally, Go to the Variable view and change the labels for each value. To change the existing labels, you select the label you want to change, adjust the value and the label, press Change, and select OK to confirm. You then repeat the process until you have the value labels coded the way you want them. Looking at the data, we can see that we have now finished recoding the variable. This brings us to the end of the SPSS video tutorial for Chapter 4. We hope that you have found this tutorial to be useful. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to use SPSS to calculate Z-scores from your data.